Vishy, um, okay, tough match against Wesley. So the first game, can you tell about it, the classical one? Um, it's some old preparation of mine. Basically, um, I checked it recently, but I'm afraid much too fast because when I was trying to remember what I'm supposed to do, it was a bit of a blur. And um, luckily, uh, I managed to somehow land on my feet. I reconstructed most of it, but uh, uh, it's nicer to just remember your prep. But this was prep done, what, uh, five, five years ago. So uh, only some fragments were staying and yeah. Yeah, it's five years, of course, it's a long period. And uh, Wesley said in the confessional booth that he was not really sure about his position and he was he said that it's really hard to play with a pawn down against such an opponent like you. Do you think he had enough um, compensation for the pawn? Um, it felt like it. I mean, at the board, I felt that it's so easy. Every time I would make three moves, I realized that I'd uh, given him some activity. So I felt that the only thing I could do was just sit tight, handless, and force him to exchange at least one pair of rooks. So if he goes rook c4 takes, because then my, I can start pushing my pawns. But he seems to conclude the same thing and just repeat it. And the problem is, if I give him the c pawn, then he comes in on the c file, and I was not sure uh, that um, uh, this was a. Uh, I could have spent another one hour calculating and then taken the draw, but I didn't think it was very practical anyway. Yeah, okay, then the Armageddon came. Anything can happen in Armageddon, and we discussed with you that white normally has some kind of advantage. So how was it this game? Yeah. It's a pity. I played well, and uh, I, at one moment, mo mo the, the worst thing is when all the danger, danger passes and then you blunder everything. Uh, but of course, the problem was, I didn't see what his plan was. I thought he was going to go bishop g4, f5 or something, and I thought I'm completely safe there. And I took on d3, he went queen f3, and I was so embarrassed. Uh, but what can you do? It just resigns on the spot. Yeah, okay. Now we have also the open tournament started nearby, Nor an open tournament of Norway chess, and pra Prague is playing here, Pragnananda. What can you say about the participation of such a level player, uh, still in a good tournament, uh, but uh, in the open tournament? Um, in general, they they play a lot. They play every open, and uh, it's, I think it's good that they have this chess hunger. Um, also, these days there are not so many round robins, and even uh, they're playing hundred for new formats every day. So I think he got good chances. He he played uh, in the Carlson Tour, and he got some good chances. Um, it's fine if, as long as he's happy. Uh, you know, I encourage them if they, when they, if, when they're in love with chess, let them do it. Yeah, it's a great approach. Thank you very much. Tomorrow we are going to have a free day. What are your plans? Well, I have to go for this um, um, this game, this chess game, and uh, after that we'll take some rest and uh, get ready for the games after that. Okay. Thank you very much, and all the best in the next rounds. Thank you.